Why do you understand when uh, Bob Short called you about this job yesterday, you uh, congratulated him on selecting Dick Hauser? Huh? Well, yes, I had uh, been driven, driven to the ballpark in St. Pete, and I'd heard on the radio that Hauser had been named the Texas manager, and uh, Bob did say last week that whoever he decided on, he would get back to me. So when it was Bob Short on the phone, I thought that that is why he was calling me. And uh, when I finally did accept the job, I called my wife, and she had already heard Hauser. And uh, then I'm, I'm leaving for Texas last night, and I get to the airport in Tampa, and uh, another farm director got off the plane. He said, I want to congratulate you. And I said, for what? And he says, for not getting a Texas job. So and then I got on the plane, so he didn't know what was happening. But there's a lot of funny things happened yesterday. He's going to be a little surprised. $64 question. Why would a guy in a very secure, uh, well-paying job with a very affluent organization like the New York Mets take a managerial job with a uh, obviously struggling team, a struggling organization like the Rangers? That's a good question. Uh, let me say, I, I guess it's a desire to manage in the big leagues. Uh, I think everybody that's ever played baseball in the minor leagues or the big leagues wants to manage in the big leagues. Uh, in fairness, and, and to be truthful about it, I have had other offers with better ball clubs. And, uh, but at the time, I thought maybe I, it wasn't the right time for me to go, and uh, the Mets were awful good to me, and I was looking for security more at that time than I, I feel I have now. Uh, when this job was offered to me, and uh, they heard that I wasn't running for the job, I've had uh, three other general managers in the big leagues, plus my own general manager, Bob Sheffy, who, by the way, has been very good to me, uh, say that, uh, Look, if, you, if it doesn't work out, you always got a job. So it's not that I'm leaving a job with, uh, if I get fired tomorrow, I got a place to go uh, with a lot of people. And I always feel that I can go back doing what I was doing. If I do ever, well, when you take a big league manager's job, you know, someday you're going to get fired, I'm sure, unless you own the club, you're Tony Mack. But uh, uh, I, I'm not worried about that. I, I'm not worried about security, and I just want to come here and do the best job I can. Have you seen the Rangers? I saw them in July of last year, and I... Of course, I was in, I live in Kansas City, uh, Independence, in Missouri, but I was in uh, Florida by the time they ended the season up there, so I did not see them that last series, and uh, I realized the last 15, 16 games they didn't play too well, and I did talk to Ted at the time, and Ted, of course, was telling me how lousy they were, and uh, they couldn't hit this, and they couldn't hit that. Did and, you agree from saying that? Well, I saw the ball club play, and... Uh, uh, in July, and uh, I, to be honest, I didn't think, you know, it was a very good ball club, and, and what, I'm not trying to kid anybody. I know there's a job to be done. I, I know we got to hope and wish that our young ball players can do a job uh, in the near future to, to get any better, and uh, my hope now is to make this ball club uh, competitive and to teach our young players and help them get better if the ability's there. And uh, I think if we get the utmost out of their ability, I mean, no... Uh, Qualms can be asked about anything. That's all you can do with that wherever you're at. 